We know what Brett Kavanaugh is going to say tomorrow about Dr. Christine Blasey Ford's accusation of sexual assault against him. I categorically and unequivocally deny the allegation against me by Dr. Ford. I never had any sexual or physical encounter of any kind with Dr. Ford. I am not questioning that Dr. Ford may have been sexually assaulted by some person in some place at some time, but I have never done that to her or to anyone. I am innocent of that charge. That is what Brett Kavanaugh said the first time he was asked about it in a telephone interview with the Republican staff of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Lisa Graves and Adam Gentleson are back with us. Uh, Lisa, uh, what are you looking for in tomorrow's hearing? Well, I hope that uh, Dr. Ford will have a chance to really tell her story fully, both in her opening statements and in her answers to the questions. Uh, I think this, the deck is stacked against her in terms of the way the questions have been so limited uh, for Brett Kavanaugh, for them both in some ways, with these five-minute rounds. Um, but I think that one of the things that's going to be clear at the end of this is that uh, Dr. Ford has no doubt that Brett Kavanaugh is the man who who assaulted her, the young man who, uh, who put his hand over her mouth and had her fear for her life. Um, this idea that it's someone else, that she's mistaken, that it had to be some other guy, that was the sort of um, scheme orchestrated by Brett Kavanaugh's buddy, Ed Whalen, I think will be completely repudiated by Dr. Ford. And then you'll be faced with a repeated series of denials uh, by Brett Kavanaugh, who has been practicing how to deny what happened with umbrage or with um, calmness, depending on the circumstances. I think at the end of the day, the American people are going to be left with a woman who um, is 100% certain that it was Brett Kavanaugh who attacked her. Um, and that's going to be what the American people are going to hear, I believe. Yeah, that, that, I guess that's going to be the big issue, Adam, because Brett Kavanaugh is allowing for the possibility that it is mistaken identity. And that was the early report, the very first conversation that Brett Kavanaugh had with a Republican senator. Uh, the senator said, oh, he says it's mistaken identity. Uh, and so the, it will be a matter of how convincing uh, is Dr. Ford. Yeah, I think that's right. I think what Republican senators really want to be able to do is to, when the hearing is over, to say, you know, she she is mistaken or that, you know, they give some credence to the idea that she was assaulted, but say that fundamentally they believe Judge Kavanaugh over her. Um, but I think that reading her testimony, it's extremely compelling. It's heart-wrenching. Um, and I think what people will see tomorrow is a woman who knows exactly what happened to her, who knows exactly who did it, uh, and I suspect she'll be very compelling. And she will put Republican senators in a very tough spot. Uh, Lisa, in a legal setting, it usually matters if one witness has never been previously caught in a lie and one witness has repeatedly been caught in a lie. Uh, we have the video of Brett Kavanaugh lying in his very first words as a Supreme Court nominee, saying that Donald Trump, who doesn't read anything, <clears throat> did more research and, and, and uh, spoke to more people and, and, and considered more possible candidates for the Supreme Court than any previous president. Donald Trump's never read a legal opinion by a judge in his life, as other presidents do in this situation. Just a screaming outright lie. You have convincingly made the case that he lied to the committee uh, while you were working on the committee uh, about stolen emails from the Democrats on the committee that he used when he was in the White House. Uh, there is no such record uh, for Dr. Ford lying uh, in, <clears throat> in a process like this or lying to this committee. Well, that's right. And I think that while the president um, and some Republicans are trying to say that this is an innocent till proven guilty and in essence, the burden of proof is on her. That's not really how it should work in the Senate Judiciary Committee. This is not about uh, Brett Kavanaugh going to jail. This is about whether he gets one of the rare seats on our U.S. Supreme Court on whether he's worthy of it. And I think his lies demonstrate that he's not. He's lied about things both big and small. Uh, as you said, the first words out of his mouth about this nomination were a lie. And I think that when you have a credibility issue like that, you have to take that into account in terms of what he is going to say to deny. A denial is what an accused rapist or someone who's accused of sexual assault or sexual harassment almost always says. Um, and I think that uh, you can't give much weight to that denial. And Adam, it seems like uh, Susan Collins, Lisa Mur Murkowski, Jeff Flake uh, are going to have to be able to say after the hearing, that settles it. We absolutely do not need an FBI investigation in order for them to support this nomination going forward. That's right. That's, what they, that's the place they want to get to in order to say, 
Yes, but I thought Senator Murkowski's comments uh, recently were very interesting because she expressed a much deeper concern about this entire process, saying that this is about whether a woman is going to be believed, that I think uh, demonstrate a deep, deeper level of concern than just sort of something that can be papered over by process. It also raises the question uh, of whether the other accusers who have uh, come forward are going to be asked to testify, whether Mark Judge will be uh, called to uh, subpoenaed and asked to testify under oath. Um, it's very hard to see folks coming away from this one hearing tomorrow being able to credibly say that this was a thorough process that truly made an effort to get to the end. To the 10, of it. 10 a.m. We will all be watching. Lisa Graves, Adam Gentleson, thank you very much for joining us tonight. And tonight's last word is next. And the last word is con artist.